Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey Crafts, and uh, today I'm just showing uh, 10 uh, Black Torn uh, hiking sticks. And uh, I put a video up there, I think about two days ago, about uh, Black Torn hiking stick, and uh, seems to be quite popular. So uh, I spent the last last two days finishing off about another 20 more hiking sticks, which I'm going to put up online now over the next hour. I think I have one more hour before I have to collect my daughter from school. So uh, I thought I'd make just a quick video just to kind of show you them all together. Um, you know, they always look kind of impressive when they're all up against each other. There's a selection of them. They're all kind of between <coughs> 50 and up to about 54 inches. Um, <coughs> you seem to like when uh, a lot of the color kind of retains on them as well. So there's a there's quite quite a, a nice selection of uh, these uh, these hiking sticks here. This one's quite nice. Turned out pretty dark as it was seasoning. And uh, again, it's just a time of year for uh, for hiking sticks, and uh, it's very rare to find hiking sticks for one this long at 54 inches, and two you can see how uh, how straight they are. Like uh, you know, you you don't get black thorn that straight usually. Um, these are all sticks that were growing right in the middle of the hedge and they were growing up searching for the light and they were they were pretty straight and because uh, usually black thorn is very twisty as as you can see look there's some black thorn I cut two or three weeks ago that I've yet to move uh, I'll probably move them when I get a moment uh, I keep saying I'm gonna move them to my shed but uh, I better better move them soon so you can see look when when you cut the black thorn, you know, they have a kind of moss growing over it. You know, they're, you know, that's kind of how they look like, and they're all bendy and twisty. But uh, when you polish them up and sand them a little bit, and uh, you know, get the moss off them, you can get a really, really nice color on the bark as well. That's why I always like these kind of natural bark ones. Uh, they just look pretty cool, um, especially when you see them all up together. Like, uh, and again, you know, no one has these type of sticks. Uh, only only my good self and uh, I make all of these myself here in County Kerry in Ireland on the Ring of Kerry because uh, I know you know a lot of you are all over the world it's, it's uh you know it's it's good that you can support an Irish business as well so look there you have it I just thought I'd make a, a quick video today just showing the, these sticks that are going to put on so I'm going to put up 20 sticks over the next hour and hopefully that'll be enough for uh, for this week, unless they all sell, and I'll have to try to to make some more of these hiking sticks. Uh, I, I I keep trying to get to make some shillelaghs. I think uh, that's what I'm going to do next now, with uh, if time allows. Thank you for watching. Okay, bye bye.